Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be talking about the Coros watch as well as something new from Coros as well. And we're talking about the Coros pod. So this little thing here is actually all about statistics. It's all about metrics and performance optimization. The pod is all about advanced running analytics. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So let's talk about the pod. You actually pick it up in a box. And the box does look premium. It's small, but it already feels like it's a premium product. Slip open the sleeve, pull out the box, open it up, and inside you've got the pod with some instruction manuals and a battery. So this is the usual flat type battery. So what you need to do is take out the actual pod or the tablet outside of its silicon case. Slip in the battery, close the back, put everything back into the silicon case, and there you have it. That's the pod, that's what it looks like. And you will see Coros on the front. If it looks that way, that means it's correct. You've put it in. Now to get this going, what you need to do is basically shake it up, or, so what you do is you put it on your back right but actually on your pants just here so that's it you slip it on and you're ready to go basically it pairs up with your chorus app now this thing is small and as fact it's so small you forget you're wearing it and you forget sometimes to even take it off after the run but that's not an issue at all because once you stop moving this thing will stop recording simple now let's get into the details about the extra metrics this thing provides. Now let's start talking about the actual metrics. So let's look at the left and right ratio. So we would all love a 50-50 split, but unfortunately that is not always the case. We always tend to favor either the left or the right foot. Why do we need to know where the ratio is or what the ratio is? Well, knowing that ratio can potentially help you identify injuries before they actually occur. Also, with you knowing which side you favor in terms of running, you can actually reshift some of the weight and improve your running form. Now, the stride ratio is basically your stride height divided by your stride length. And it's finding the ideal ratio to make sure you aren't jumping up and down or trying to enter a long jump competition. An ideal stride ratio ensures that you're using your body's energy to propel yourself forward as efficiently as possible. Now let's talk about stride height. So stride height is otherwise known as vertical oscillation. And really this measures how high your body gets off the ground while you're in the stride, in your running stride. While it's important to make sure you're pushing off the ground, you also want to make sure more of your energy is used to move you forward rather than up in the air. Too low or too high can indicate opportunities for improvement. So that's why you have the cod to find that sweet spot or at least improve on getting the right sweet spot. Let's talk about ground time. So ground time as it is, is basically the amount of time that your foot is actually touching the ground. Now, the difference, to make it simple, between walking and running is that while running, you will have more time during the actual period of you doing the exercise where both feet are up in the air. So less ground time, more air time. The more time your feet are on the ground, the less time you're moving forward. An efficient stride spends enough time on the ground to power up for the next stride and not a millisecond more. So that's why knowing your ground time can once again improve you with your running form. And now another majorly important metric is called form power. So this is the actual power or the energy that you waste due to inefficient running form. So it's just like ground contact time. The lower the number, the better and more efficient the runner. But the higher, obviously, more energy is being wasted. So you'll be able to follow the trend and see how your form power changes as your body fatigues during a run. Because at the end of the day, the better the efficiency, the less energy is wasted. So this is basically it. This is 
what this little monster can do for you. And all it costs is around 70 bucks. So you're looking at about 60 pounds or 70 bucks. And you get yourself a running optimization tool that you don't even feel because it's so light. And it goes on the back of your pants, on the back of your shorts, so you don't even notice it's there. Anyway, thank you for watching this review of the Corospod. If you did find it useful, please drop us a like. And if you want to see more of the same, you know what to do. Please hit the red subscribe button below the video. And we'll see you in the next one.